Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, Elon Paul here, and we're going to be doing uh, just a video today. We're not going to do any streaming. This is Saturday the 13th. We're going to do a no starter ship challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over right now over to this screen here. So you can see me over here. You may get a little bit of a, a weird graphic issue right around the glasses here. I've got a green screen behind me and occasionally it picks up the green through this lens. So sorry about that. So welcome to No Man's Sky. And welcome to my channel. I am Alon Paul. Just call me Paul. We're going to do a no starter ship. We're going to do a very plain and simple no starter ship challenge um at the extreme permadeath settings okay so what do i mean by that now in case you haven't seen any of this before this is going to be just normal playthrough why do i call it normal we have done that is when i say we Beeblebum is one of the main contributors to producing games um based on a permadeath setting so i'm going to get into this right now we're actually going to play a new game and we're going to do it as a custom. You notice we have creative, normal, relaxed. We have a survival. And then you can do custom. You can also do a community expedition. But as you can see, there's no expedition at the moment. So we go to custom. And what we do is we immediately switch this over to permadeath. Now, the next thing we do is we change everything to the most difficult settings. So we're going to make uh, the scanner recharge challenging. We're going to do save deletion. Obviously, we're keeping that maxed out. Everything in it maxed out settings. Expensive. Everything's going to be expensive. Purchases are expensive. The inventory stack limits are going to be harsh, which means we have shorter stack limits. Instead of usually, you can get about 9,999 of something in one slot. You're reduced to about 250 to 300. I believe it's 300, if I'm not mistaken, in each slot. So that makes everything much more reduced, a little more difficult to get by on everything. Um, your enemy strength, instead of standard, we're going to change it to challenging. So uh, that's mostly going to be for the Sentinels that you may face on the planet. Uh, hostile, as far as on-foot combat. Space combat is hostile. Predators are on. But the thing about hostile on the space combat, it's a no-starter ship challenge. We'll get to the rules in just a second. And we'll explain why that really doesn't make a difference to us. Tutorial missions we're going to disable. If we have to go through the tutorial, we will never be able to actually achieve the point of being able to accomplish getting a ship. So we have to turn off the tutorial and reputation we're going to make it challenging not that it makes a difference and most importantly we're going to lock these settings so as soon as i i confirm and hit start everything's locked i can't go back in here and change anything so and i can't make everything suddenly uh recipes blueprints and things like that everything's learnable but i don't have them unlocked okay so i've got to learn these things if i want them everything is going to be a challenge on this so let's get it confirmed and started and as we do, before I click the button, going to explain. What this means is, normally when you start a permadeath or any type of game, and you're in tutorial, it normally starts you out, it pans around, and it gets you situated and ready to go, and then teaches you how to play the game. With the tutorial turned off, you're just going to immediately pop onto the planet, and your object is to normally go find your ship and repair it. The no starter ship challenge means we don't go for that ship at all. We stay away from it. We don't go anywhere near it. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a direction and we're going to go in that direction and we're going to look for either a crash ship that we can acquire and repair or if, if a trader lands near us and they offer us a ship, we have to have the money available, the things that we're selling along the way to purchase their ship. Or we can find a trading platform of some sort, either a trading platform or an archive. Normally, those two places are where a lot of ships and travelers come into, or NPCs, I should say, actually arrive, in which case we can purchase a ship from them. Um, we can mark that position. We can drop base computers down. We can do anything we want to get a ship. So that is the easier portion of doing a no starter ship challenge. Because it's permadeath, if something happens to me and I die, game is deleted. There is no save. You can save it along the way. We will, there are small caveats to the rules on these, that we will institute getting an autosave going. In other words, reloading if something stupid happens, like you glitch out. For instance, you uh, get glitched out and you're falling through the world or something like that, and you're going to die. You can load your autosave in that point. So it's anything that really kind of uh, breaks the game where it's not your fault. You can reload the autosave. 
With this though, if you do something stupid, you get attacked by some sort of plant or the sentinels start attacking because you did something dumb and they start taking you down and you die, game's over. And then we have to start all over again. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. We usually, uh, with, the, with the latest updates and stuff, it has made it a little bit easier for us. So let's go ahead and get this started and get it moving along. It has made it easier for most of us players to do these type of runs. But the reason I'm doing this one is to get reacclimated to doing a permadeath no starter ship challenge so that the next one can be one of the games that uh, Beeblebum has invented for us uh, or others as well. There's a lot of different challenges in regards to that. So as you can see, my camera's on, you can see me, but I'm not doing this live. It is a lot of fun to do live. Um, on my last video that I released on Friday, uh, which was the anomaly video, I did mention that I was going to be doing Twitch. I mentioned very, very carefully, though. Pay attention. I'm thinking about it. Everything that I like to do is on over on YouTube. All my live streams, things like that. I have been thinking about getting my channel going on Twitch so that I can go over there occasionally and play different games. Palia is one of the games I like to play on a regular basis. Stardew Valley, things like that. They don't get as much traction over here on the YouTube side as they do over on the Twitch side. So it might be a way for me to, from a, if you will, business point of view, not that this is a business, to get some traction over there to make a footprint. And hopefully people will start jumping over here too. So here we are. We're going to get started here. We're fortunate we're on a cold planet. I like the ice planets. They're easier to find things. So we're in good shape. So you can see, thing is though, that everything's damaged for the most part. It looks like we have our scanner up and running so we can get somewhere. Now the ship in question is going to be that way. We want to avoid going that way. So either we've got to head south or head north. Before we go anywhere, my first discovery is to see where I am on the planet. See, I'm already towards the North Pole, so heading north would be kind of ridiculous. It gets a little bit annoying trying to get anywhere when you go to the North Pole, because it may switch over and you'll be going south after that. So we're going to head south, no matter what. We have six fauna on this planet we can discover for a nanite bonus. Nanite bonuses are handy because we can purchase upgrades from uh, travelers that land. If we can't purchase their ship, we can buy some upgrades from them. That might help us out along the way. Now, the thing that we want to look for is going to be a cold upgrade, if we can get it. So we're on a cold planet. Uh, we're going to head south. This direction, we're going to be angling away from our ship. Um, let's go ahead and scan some animals while we're here, while we are not having an issue. There we go. We got two there and it looks like a third one over here i don't know if it's a creature that's flying or nope it is a biological creature so that's three three creatures automatically from the start all right and we get a little money out of it now one thing we are going to need along the way we definitely need ferrite dust because i'm sure we have things we got to repair let's check our okay nothing here we don't have any supercharged slots starship we're not going to be bothering with Looks like we have our analysis visor. We already got our scanner, so nothing is damaged. I'm going to leave these out in the open a little bit. Like, I'm going to put him here so we can upgrade him on either side when we need to. Mining beam, definitely. There we go. So we make a little more room around everybody so we can get stuff. All right. And you can see our cold is falling. Our best option right now is to try to find ourselves um, a cave or something along those lines. We want to know what the secondary element. Ah, oxygen. Very good. And we definitely need carbon. And I think this is a carbon-based plant. And because it's one of the only plants on the planet, yeah, we get a lot of carbon for that. Nice. Okay, good. We already got tons of carbon. That's excellent. All right. And there's oxygen from these plants here. And it looks like we're already about ready to get in trouble here. Oh, if I could get my buttons on the right... My fingers on the right keys. We need a cave bad, or we need some sodium. And I'm not seeing any sodium anywhere. That's not good. So we're about to get damaged already. Have they changed it? Let's get moving. Ooh, there's sodium right in front of me. Get it, get it, get it, get it. No, that's not what I want. There we go. We've got to take that right away. 
get it while we can. They have changed things. So it is making it more difficult. Alright. That's a little bit better. Damage machinery over there we want to pick up. Uh, we don't need that though. That is going to come in handy. Because maybe there's an upgrade in here. Maybe not. Alright, pulse engine upgrade is nice, but... Let's dig down and get this and we'll be able to save ourselves. I don't know what hit us, but something hit us. Let me just dig a hole here and we're going to stay put and get this thing off our screen. Let's check out what we got in our inventory. So we got a pulse engine module upgrade worth 300 nanites. That's nice, but we're not going to be able to need we're not going to be able to use it. These are handy. These this is our gold right here. We can carry 9 of these at a time. They're worth about 52,000 units each. That'll help us buy a ship. So that's what we're going to aim for. So we have recovered a little bit south. That's the direction we're headed. I need sodium. So we're going to scan again, and we're looking for sodium. Plants are handy. If we can get to a plant, that's fine. Some plants actually recharge your shield. So we're going to get up there and check out this plant and see what it is. Heptaloid wheat. Let's see what it'll do for us. Life support at the very... Oh, hazard protection. We'll use that. Okay, so our hazard protection is boosted. We've also got a little sodium down there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Condensed carbon behind us. It's always good. Be careful of the fall damage, because I really think that it looks like they have they have changed things. So it looks like that things may have gotten more difficult for us on these challenges. And I'm very surprised. <laughs> I guess is a good word. Scan the birds. That's our fourth creature. Take a little look around, make sure we're not missing anything. But we gotta get moving because see temperatures are dropping. I'm gonna get some more carbon. Sentinels are not present yet. Alright, south is the direction we want to go, and we were gonna head for that uh damaged machinery over that way, but I think I'm gonna skip that and head over to that damaged machinery over there. Along the way we have some health restorative, so in case we've gotten too damaged, we are going to grab it. I'm going to grab condensed carbon as we can find it. I need oxygen for now. I do need a cave. See if we can get this guy gone real quick. See how long it's taken to get him. Ooh. Oxygen, the more sodium, that's going to help us. Looks like we got 10 sodium, some condensed carbon, projectile ammunition, and more sodium. Good. More sodium is excellent. Yeah, it's falling and falling fast. Let's head over to the damaged machinery. Looks like we have some sodium nearby as well. Oh. Ball damage is going to kill me, literally. There we go. Almost fully charged. And there should be buried tech over here. There it is. I'm actually going to dig down and get this one. Okay. Oh, there's an animal over there we can get. Let's get some sodium while we're at it. So you're going to hear me go quiet from time to time as I'm concentrating on these things. Ah, there he is. Look at that. It'll be number five. We have one more person to find. One more creature, I should say, to find. But we really, really need a cave if we can find one. This looks like some oxygen. Very good. Good, 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 good. That was a good amount of oxygen. I appreciate that. Alright, is that a cave over there? It does look like one. Wow, okay, I'm taking some heavy damage when I land. 
Okay, so here's where we need to be. This is it. This is it. This will save us right here, because now we can make some batteries. Uh, I need to get into the cave without killing myself. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so we're going to check out this cobalt in front of us. Cobalt's going to be used to make ourselves some batteries. Looks like we get some dihydrogen out of them, too. We need some of that. That will help us make uh, dihydrogen gels and, in turn, some life support packs. Now, as I've said before when I've done these runs, uh, plants are your friends on these planets. Because they can help you acquire things that you need. We need about a good 200 cobalt at the very least. But we're not taking any extra cobalt with us. Now, something I learned in one of the special... Uh, challenges that Beeble Bum has made is that I can make myself a exocraft if I wish. Oh, weapon charge depleted. Alright, I'm going to use the condensed carbon for now. It's not going to charge it up the whole way. Sorry, good time for eyelashes to get in your eyes right about now, right? Okay. And we need ferrite, which I think we've already got, so that's good. Let's see what we got in our inventory here. All right, got plenty of cobalt. Let's go ahead and see if we can make some batteries, these guys here. All right, 15 batteries to start. We definitely need some more ferrite. Uh, let's get a little bit more cobalt. There we go. All right, excellent. Now, one of the things that these guys can have, uh, not necessarily the upper ones, scanning them is useless because of the fact that they all contain cobalt with no secondary mineral. But look for ones that don't have cobalt. Occasionally, you'll find those. Uh, that's pure ferret. I can't even take that. And watch out for the plants down here. They can hurt you. Some of the plants can. you got to be careful of them. Hazardous plants is what those are. Usual ones I'm looking for here are ones that'll be a slightly different color, and it's going to call me out here. It's not going to show me one of those now. Oh, there's one. Platinum. Platinum is actually pretty... It's probably the most expensive metal you can get, and is worth getting if you can. You won't get much. You'll get about 28 platinum out of those. Yeah, see? And that's a good sellable item there. But I definitely need... Oh, look at all the dihydrogen I've got. I almost got enough for a gel. So that'll come in handy. Uh, let's see. I'm really looking for silver. If I can find it. Gold is okay, but silver. Silver is going to be my friend here. Because while I can sell the platinum and get good money for it, silver comes in handy because there's certain there's a certain uh, exocraft I like to make. And that's the... Uh, the motorcycle one. Those are handy. And you have to check every one of them because it'll just pop up out of the blue. And you won't even realize it's, it happens to be there until you actually see it. Yeah. Doesn't look like we have any in here. Alright, not going to worry about it just yet. We've got what we need. Let's go ahead and check some of these out. We're not quite exposed yet. We've got another platinum right here. I'll go ahead and grab it, because again, the platinum sells for a decent amount. There we go. Oh, I did step out, huh? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go crazy and sit there forever and look for these things. Because really, if we can just get an upgrade for our exosuit that allows us to withstand cold weather... See, there's a gold one. Again, it doesn't look any different from the rest. Visually. Ah, and there's one of those plants I was talking about right there. If they emit the gas anywhere near you, it can hurt you. There's another one in the distance as well. Okay. 
And we're going to disappear into the other cave because, again, I want to see if I can't find the silver. The silver will be very, very handy to get. Keep looking. Oh, it looks like we have some buried technology near us. We needed some ferrite dust, remember? Ah, getting crystals is a very nice thing to have happen to you. Oh, I can pick it up without digging. What do you know? All right. Watch out for the plants. Every time you use your jetpack, you also use more. See? Gotta get away from that guy. Alright, we're away from him right now. We may take him out in a little bit, but I want to see if I can't find my metals. Yep, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Really, silver would be a great thing to find, and it's always that one thing I can't find. You'd think it would be the easier of the metals because it's the cheapest of them. But I don't see it. All right, we may have to go without, and that is what it is. All right, let's get into our inventory. Let's get this crystal undone. Pure ferrite is what we ended up with. We got some excellent regular ferrite, so this should get us up to 20. 21. We don't have enough to make one more. Go figure. Ferrite dust is a very good thing to have. Because uh, certain things, that if they get damaged, require ferrite dust to repair them. So you want to make sure you have as much as you can get. At least the one stack. I'm going to take everything from in here because I'm protected at the moment. Almost. There we go. Alright, we've got ourselves a good amount of ferrite dust now. Alright. So that should get us the rest of our... We need more... Six, six more cobalt? Oh, we got gold there, too. Go ahead and grab it. Go figure, right? Still can't find silver. We'll stop at another cave soon. Twelve. Uh, let's see. Let's get few more batteries. Just a few more. If we can have about 25 batteries, I think we'll be in good shape. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Alright, excellent. Good. We're going to get rid of the rest. We don't need it. We're going to be selling this later. I'm going to put it over here. Alright, let's see what else we got. We gotta remember we can get rid of our ammunition. We're not gonna be fighting anybody. Uh, all right, goes up there. We're gonna be selling this at some point, but I'm gonna hang on to it. And we need this. Oh, and life support. Didn't I say that? How many can we make? I think that's only one we can make for now, but that's okay. All right, we need carbon and dihydrogen to make that. So as we come across some dihydrogen fields, we'll use it. So we got to watch our life support. But again, plants. We need plants. There we go. Couldn't get out of the hole. There we go. Any more creatures? What is that? Curious deposits. We can't do anything with that whatsoever. We are headed... That way. Okay. Let's head on. So we have a broken piece of machinery over here. Let's go grab it. 
We're going to grab whatever things we can along the way. Gek Relic is going to be kind of useless to us. We definitely need some more sodium. I think we've already scanned you. We have one more animal to find and scan. If we check in here, it'll tell us what it is. It is an underground creature. So we want to find, once we find a building that has an underground area, we can check that out. Okay. Okay, usually, oh, launch fuel? Well, that's handy, right? We will probably be getting rid of that. Um, no buried tech. Any floating tech? Yep, there it is. Unburied technology, we call that. Yep, we know. Okay, so now's the time when we're going to start really planning. We do have some frozen tubers over there. And we've got tubers right in front of us. So we're going to head in that general direction. Uh, let's see, and buried technology. But we'll stop and hit the plants along the way because they will help us. And when we hear that, use our life support gel. And as you can see, hazard protection is still dropping. We're going to let it get a little bit lower. Maybe we can find something we can use here. Okay, we got to recharge. Not that. Why does it do that? There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this. So we have first person view right here. Because you can pick things up in first person view that you can't normally pick up. Let's grab the frozen tubers. Oh, is that? Sweet root. Nice. More sodium. And one more plant. Or two. Look at that. Both of them right next to each other. All right. What do they do for us? Let's check it out. First of all, we're going to get rid of the launch fuel. It's not worth anything when you sell it. That's worth a little bit. We'll hang on to it for now. But one, two, see our hazard protections going up. This helps our life support so we can eat that. This helps our hazard protection and this also is our hazard protection. So we've got a good amount of stuff to do with hazard protection on here. There we go. I got things rearranged. All right, let's move on. It's getting kind of dark, which means it's getting colder. I don't know if how much we can carry in our inventory. Okay, good. We've got a good amount of life support for us now. All right, so we're heading south. We're looking for buildings. Unknown buildings is our next option. But in the meantime, let's just go for the damaged machinery and we'll keep on our way. Very good stuff. Now you all can do this too if you wish. You see how I had the game set up at the very beginning with all the settings? I can't show them to you anymore because it won't let me in. Alright, looks like we got some buried technology there. Let's check the damaged machinery and maybe we can get an upgrade. Most of the time you're going to get nanites. Um, where did it go? There it is. First person. Pick it up. Okay. Alright. So we've got a good amount of sodium so far. Let's use that. There we go. 98%. So there you go. Try to avoid shooting the plants up in the air. These things are kind of useless. They will give you usually chlorine, but not really worth it. All right, let's see. We got a buried cache over there. Some more wheat, tubers. Okay, we're going to stick to this valley for now, and we're going to hit that buried tech over there 283 units away. All right. Let's head on. Pick up some sodium on the way. The more buried tech we can get, the better off we'll be, because we can sell that at some point. 
and that'll help us buy a ship. Now, if we can find a crash ship on the way, even better. I'm not going to hold my breath. There we go. No broken tech here, huh? Alright. No big deal. Take another look. Check the hills. Now, if you're fortunate enough that your multi-tool has an expanded slot on it, you know what? We should go for those buried minerals. Looks like we got a sodium patch ahead of us. That's even better. If you have a, a spent, what do you call it, a supercharged slot on your tool, then it's usually a good idea to put your scanner there so you can scan further. So this is going to give us a glowing mineral, which we open up and see what it is. Lemium. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't think it, I don't know what metal it gives us if we sell it. It's worth 25,000 by itself, but it'll give us 200 of these usually, which might be worth even more. All right, time to use a battery. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got this. There we go. Let's get some sodium while we're here. These hills are going to kill me, though. <laughs> Okay, watch the amount that you're picking up, because again, you can only carry so much in one slot. Let's see. We're at 269. We can get 31 more. What are we up to? 287. We get 13 more. What are we up to? I think we can get one more plant. There we go. Yep, slipped over a little bit. So we'll just put it in here. All right, let's take a look around. Again, we're going to look up towards the top of the hills and make sure we can't find something. Ancient data structures are kind of handy sometimes. But uh, I don't really care. <laughs> Curious deposit. This planet seems to have a lot of those. You can usually get nanites out of those at some point. There we go. A little bit of condensed carbon to charge things up. Ooh, wow, that, that was, like, blocked. Ah. Not going to find these in great deposits, even though this planet should be replete with them. In permadeath mode, in the settings that we've got it set for, you're not going to find a lot of very big deposits of this. Okay, depleted. Let's charge it. Just put a little bit in there. Get up to the top of our hill. Little mini hill here. Good deal. All right, let's take a look. Ah, there you go. Unknown building straight in front of us. So that means we're probably on a ley line. That's very, very good. Um, ley line means uh, anytime you have a building that's placed there, the procedural generation of this game. Uh, yeah, we'd have to use two batteries. Let's use sodium instead. The procedural generation of this planet allows you to find things on the same line. So if we find this, we head in a cardinal direction, in this case south, we will most likely find other buildings. Uh, two pieces of broken technology over here. There's some dihydrogen there, but I'm going to forego them. Go over here. Because I want to find an upgrade for my exosuit. I'm probably just going to end up with nanites, and that's fine. They, they are handy. I don't know if I can find this guy. Oh, I can. Good. There was another piece of broken machinery right over here. Life support power low. We don't have any more life support. Well, wait a minute. We might be able to make a dihydrogen jelly. Good, and we can make a life support gel. And there we go. Looks like we got some more technology below us. We'll grab that. Go over to this. That was a uh, one out in the open. Like we've discovered before that happens. Okay. Okay, nanites. 
And do we have... Yep, there's the one that always comes near one. Good. Okay. Good shape. More salvage data. We're getting two at a time right now. I'm hoping to get three or four next time we find them, but that's okay. Alright, so these are shelters. Nothing special. We're not going to find much here. Uh, let's see. There's no canisters over there we can open up. So let's step inside and recharge. Okay, well, recharging this one. There's really nothing here for us. Let's just go in the other one real quick. I'll pick this up while we're out here. And we'll pick this up while we're here, because a lot of times you'll find damaged machinery near shelters like this. More nanites, okay. Inside we go. Okay, so here's first aid. Health is at maximum. We don't have to worry about that. We're in good shape there. Uh, that's a shield re restoration if your shield was down. And then you get some more nanites. Usually about 80, give or take. 57, that's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Okay, we're fully recharged. Let's get our plan of attack. We're going south, correct? So there is a thing there. It looks like we have a landed pilot 82 units away. We can sell to them if we can get over there and if they've exited their craft. There he is. Now, I don't think we have enough nanites to buy anything, but let's offer to trade. We're going to sell some stuff. See, yeah, we don't have enough nanites to get a thing, but we can sell some of the things we've acquired. So the platinum's gone. Salvage data, we're getting 1.2 million for that. That's nice. Not enough to buy a ship yet. And let's get rid of our gold. The Gek Relic. We're going to hang on to the Lemium. Like I said, I'm going to try to make a uh, refiner, and we'll start refining that. Uh, let's get rid of the projectiles. We, it's not making much money at them. We just want to get them out of my inventory. So that's the only thing we can buy for him are these, these things. I'd love to buy something. I can't. And he won't be able to purchase my pulse upgrade. So it is what it is, but we have gotten something. So if you're wondering, you can also talk to him about purchasing a ship. So to get you a rough idea, we negotiate a price, and it is a $13 million, 13 million unit ship. We don't have the money for that, obviously. Uh, we cannot exchange our old ship at all. Your old ship is useless and does not exist. So that's another rule. You cannot use the money that you would gain from that ship to buy something. You have to, uh, you have to uh, get the money all on your own. Now, this, the Explorer classes are tend to be expensive sometimes. So... This one just happens to be more expensive than usual. No big deal. It happens. Move on. Uh, let's take a look around real quick. I don't see anything else. So we found ourselves a landed pilot. That was nice. I'm going to get some more dihydrogen so I can make another crystal. Uh, life support gel, I mean. Hopefully it'll get a crystal out of it. It's congratulating me for my... Uh, money that I got. Okay. So that should get us one of these and one of these. So we're in good shape. What's this? Uh, hazard protection? There we go. We're going to need more soon. There we go. So let's head up there. Take a look around real quick. Make sure you're not passing anything by. Scare the animals by all means. Buried crystals are handy. Okay, so if we find another... Oh, looks like sentinels are starting to pop up now. If we find ourselves another little unknown building that we can step into, we're going to make a refiner. We're going to try to refine that lemium that we've got. So be careful on planets where the sentinels start to show up, because as you start to harvest crystals or rocks, if they show up, they'll get mad, and you'll have to stop, or else they'll start attacking. But be careful about that. See? Hey, buddy. As long as you don't bug them, they will not bug you. Okay. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, just some, probably just going to be nanites, as usual. Occasionally, it'll be something else.
I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Nice. These crystals are handy because they just about double everything you can get. Okay, this one was kind of deep. Okay, we've done that. Let's get this back to normal. There we go, 155. Isn't that nice? One, two, three. There we go. We got plenty of life support shells now. We're in good shape. While we're here, why don't we do it? Let's make a metal plate. And we should be able to make ourselves a portable refiner. We have enough oxygen. Uh, let's see. And we want to try the lemium, right? What is it going to give us? It's going to give us gold. I wasn't sure if it gave us gold or silver. So it only takes a few moments. We'll take the gold. It'll be good to sell. Okay. And then you just click on this and... Pick it up. Take it with you. Uh, let's see. Tubers? Why not? Uh, let's see. So we're going south again. We're going to take another look. Yeah, I don't see anything around us at the moment. So let's just go ahead and start heading south. Try to keep yourself level with the ground when you're thrust using your thruster uh, to go ahead. Because if you hit the ground hard enough, it could kill you. There we go. Alright, looks like we got some buried technology over there, but I want to go for the buried mineral. Because again, I want myself, I want to get myself some silver. If I can get the right mineral, I should be able to get it. go. Oops. That was weird. Okay, so what do we get? Geodesite. Oop. We gotta recharge. And because we're gonna use two batteries, I'll use more sodium this time. Let's charge our mining beam while we're at it. I'm gonna put this down real quick. Let's put the geodesite in, which will give us platinum. Geodesites are worth quite a bit, so I don't know if I want to do that. I think they're worth 150,000, so I'm going to hang on to that. I'm not going to turn it into anything else. All right. Looks like we've got some good amount of buried tech in front of us and some sweet root. So let's go for the sweet root first, and then we're going to go for the buried tech in that direction. And yeah, we're going to get dihydrogen. Just a little bit this time. Looks like we just had a ship fly over. Alright, we have yet to find that sixth and elusive animal. Sixth elusive animal, as I called it. Take a look around. Whenever you get a moment, stop and take a look around, because you don't want to miss something. Looks like we got a building up there. go. Yep, building right there. That's where we're headed. We're going to go in this direction so we can get the buried tech that's there. Pick up some of that stuff that we've left behind. There's the buried tech. Pick it up. Alright, moving on. That weird music you hear is us entering a different region. Love to harvest that, but I do not have an advanced mining laser. We would need someplace else. We need an upgrade for our laser, our mining laser, if we want to be able to harvest that. And we're going to watch our thermal protection as it drops. I'm going to use a battery this time. There we go. There we go. So our unknown building, let's see what it turns out to be. Looks like a trade ball. Okay. Place to sell some stuff. Before we do, 
Got himself a microprocessor. That's really good. Okay, and a Corvax casing. So it's good that we did that first. Let's get in. We're going to sell the geodesite. It's selling at a 12% discount, unfortunately, but still a lot of money. Salvage data. Let's see the gold. And the Corvax casing. I'll hang on to the microprocessor for now. Ah, they have silver. Not a lot, but it's a, it's a start. I need about twice twice that. I need around 100. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they don't really have anything else for me here that's worth my time. Okay. South it is. Okay, take a look around real quick. Real quick is... Not exactly the word I would want to use. Okay. Let's just head south. We'll pick up some sodium along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I made some money. I'm a rich guy running barefoot on a planet. Fantastic. Okay. There's another building right over there. You don't want to miss these things. These are important. Just want to check around, make sure I didn't miss any to the sides. Okay, let's head for the building and see what it is. Alright. That is just an ancient plaque, it looks like. Doesn't really do much for us. Or it looks like our life support is low. It wants to use two, so I'll use some oxygen this time. I could have used the plant, I know, but let's just use the oxygen, that's fine. Got some metal over there, it's most likely copper. Let's go ahead and... That's life support. There it is. There we go. Life support is boosted. Alright, we got ourselves another cave here. So this is handy. This is a pretty big cave. We want to look for animals here. Let's see what this guy wants. He might be able to give us something. What it will do... Is give us some information. I'm not reading any of that. We're not going to seek help with language. I want to seek knowledge of the past, which is hopefully a buried item. And gives us a pullback. If there's not a lot of clouds, I should be able to look around. And I see nothing. <laughs> How far away? And is it south? It is south. 13 minutes away. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I might consider that. Now, this is a pretty wide cave. So, this is the kind of cave where those that, that sixth animal would likely be wandering around either out just outside of or inside of. So, we are going to take a look inside... Just want to get a little bit deeper so our temperature levels can stabilize. And we're going to look for silver. we got plenty of batteries. I'm not really worried about them. I just want to see if I can find a silver. One of these, which, oh, there's one right there. Good. Now, the thing about the uh, bike is it doesn't protect you from the elements. How much silver do we have? 75. How much does it take to build one of those? Oh, I can't even build that. Okay, so gathering that is useless. I didn't even think about that. That's kind of stupid. Well, there we go. These things uh, used to be worth quite a bit more, but they're not really worth a whole lot now. These subterranean relics or vortex cubes, don't even bother. I wouldn't bother with them. So, All right, south it is. We'll head in the direction of our ancient ruin over there, okay? Before we do, take another look. Looks like we got some damaged machinery straight ahead. Right next to, well, looks like buried tech. Let's go ahead and grab it. I'm a little disappointed I can't make my exocraft. Sad face. All right. 
And we should take a look around for that animal real quick before we leave the area. Okay, nanites. Uh, very tech is there. Yes. Take another look. Trade terminal, that's where we came from. I don't see any animals, do you? Alright. Thing about looking for these animals, unfortunately, is that you're out in the open and you're exposed, so... Probably not a good idea to stay with this too much longer. Alright, so... Moving on. Onward and outward. Alright, which way would be best? Let's just head straight for now. We've got a good amount of stuff. go. The red canisters usually have a lot of stuff in it you can acquire. I'm going to grab some more carbon. Almost 100 from that. That's pretty good. Let's do a scan too while we're at it. No harm in doing so. Might find us some plants that we could use like that sodium we just found. How far away? Not bad. Under 12 minutes. And I can guarantee you that we're going to be finding stuff along the way. Okay. Alright. Jump that back up to 40 for now. Finding some sweet root or heptaloid wheat would be handy. Frostwort does not help us at all. Okay. So we're probably going to have to use a battery on our next charge. There it is. Battery it is. Keep moving. And you get to listen to that voice every time. Alright, let's see if we can get this without annoying the sentinels. Very handy. Those are pretty big ones, so... Yeah, that'll get us enough, hopefully, to get a good charge out of our mining tool. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing a very rare thing in front of us right now. That is a base computer. We can set up a base here right now without actually building one. What does that do for us? Let me show you. We're going to claim the base. Gets us a nice aerial view as well. Guess what we can build while we're here? We can build a lot of different things. Not many. We can make ourselves a shelter, but we still don't have our exocraft. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for exocraft to say, hey, look what I can do. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, well. That's a thought. If we put down a construction unit, we might be able to do other things. We need magnetized ferrite. You know, we can do whatever we want. There are no rules in this run. We, except for the rules I mentioned. Let's go in our cave over here and help ourselves a little bit. Because if that's the case, I am going to look for silver. Platinum. Yeah, not finding any silver in here. That's okay. We need magnetized ferrite, correct? We have pure ferrite. We only need 20, I believe. Let's get that going. And we need a carbon nanotube. 
So this could work out to our advantage, because if we can use that along with the buried tech that we found, we might be able to get ourselves what we're looking for. Let's find out. I don't know if it'll work or not. Okay, and again, we need silver, and I don't think this... Does this cave go deep enough for us to look for it? Got gold. I'll go ahead and grab it, because there are certain other ones we can make with gold instead. Silver is the real one I would like to get. Keep going, keep going. Oh, go figure. An outpost? Do we really have an outpost over here? That would be interesting. Because finding a trade terminal that has more silver in it would be fantastic. And then we don't have to worry about any of this. Watching very carefully, so if you see me just staring at my screen and not looking at you guys, that's why. What you're doing is you're just scanning through real quick, because obviously the one that has the special metal in it is going to be a different color. So I'm looking for the color change to occur. And if I'm good enough to catch it... But platinum, see? There's one that had platinum in it. Oh, careful. I think we'll go this way. Alright, I think we're going to kind of give up at this point. I don't know what that is. Okay. Hmm, that's not one of them. Interesting. Some of these have a slightly darker color to them, and the ones that do don't have any cobalt in them. Or any other metals, for that matter. Okay. So I'm going to say we're just going to have to move on, because we're taking a lot of time here that we don't need to be taking. Silver. We don't need a whole lot more silver. Okay. Okay, we got over a hundred. That's what we needed. Okay. Let's exit the cave. See if we can build our construction unit. I'd like to build it underground. There we go. That way we're not actually building anything. Alright, this should be a good enough spot. Let's build one of these. So we have enough magnetized ferrite. We need a carbon nanotube. Let's do it. I'm trying to be sneaky here. I'm going to see if this works. I don't know if it will. Otherwise, I've wasted time and money, if you will. Yep. Okay, buildable technology. Let's see what we got. So those things aren't going to help us at all. What else we got? That's that buildable technology. That's that, that, and we're back to that. So we can't get any research on Exocraft from here. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to bother taking it with me because I don't think it's necessary. All right. So not going to help us. Let's get rid of the cobalt. We don't need that. And which means we're going to end up having to sell the silver. Get our life support up to 99. Okay, good. Condensed carbon I'm going to put here. Pure ferrite goes back over here. We're going to reorganize these things. Put you back over here. Okay. Alright, we're in good shape. 
let's go ahead and continue on, shall we? So having this base was great. It would have been a great idea. But it didn't work out the way I was hoping. Just want to make sure there wasn't anything over there. Okay, moving on. Let's grab our buried tech and head towards that ancient relic that's buried under the ground that might be worth a lot of money. At the very least, the area that it's in will be protected from the elements. Is it going to carry nanites or protection? More launch fuel. Nope, can't get it. This one we're going to have to dig for. There it is. Okay. Let's check a direction real quick. South is where we're going. Let's head over to these buried techs because we know we want to head to the uh, thing over there. 267, 369. We're going to go to this one. That's why little boost to our all right that gave us a little bit more of a boost and I got some heptaloid weed along the way so that was good tech and damage machinery and let's see if we can get that protection we're looking for doesn't always happen we got a shield module looks for it for a ship which is helpless uh useless helpless useless useless to us i don't see the buried technology anywhere maybe if we look through here oh we got an unknown grave what do you know that's handy by the way we are going to head in that direction. Since it happens to lie a little bit left or uh, right of where that is, it's not important. Got to it just in time. Okay. So, the unknown graves are handy. They're even better on a fugitive run or something like that, like Beeblebum has uh, devised for us as a challenge. But, they're handy to us because they also give you an upgrade. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we can get this. I keep running out of run juice. As I call it. Okay, down there. Taking a look through here also helps you out just a little bit as well. Helps you preserve things. It's on the other side of this next hill. Just want to see if this is what I think it is. No, it isn't. But the sodium's always welcome. So it was one of the blue flowers. That gives you a boost to your jetpack. Now, unfortunately, in this mode... It doesn't always give you the same boost as going up a solid wall, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. And there it is, right in front of me. Very excited about this. This is a good thing. Hmm. Nice big open area. That's an open cave, if you will. That could come in handy. All right, we're not going to read any of this. We're just interested in what he has to give me, which is a glyph. And a memory fragment. Infra knife module, so more ship upgrades. All right, what's this? Life support? There we go. There we go. All right, back to here. Before we go, we got buried minerals. 
And it did come in handy getting that buried mineral last time. How far away is that? Let's grab this buried tech real quick. I'm gonna grab it first. Gotta wait for the terrain to generate a little bit sometimes before you start digging. There we go. Upgrade. Or nanites. Nanites it is. Good. Plenty of sodium now, right? Yes, we have an overabundance of sodium. So I will use some over there. Alright, we're looking pretty good so far. Let's keep going. Looking for buildings. So I know that that's over there. Still don't see a lot of unknown buildings. We're not having a lot of luck there. We have traders that have shown up. So that has been a good thing. So we know that there's trading going on on this planet. Which means there should be crash ship. Which means there should be trade terminals somewhere. What do we got there? What is that? Sweet root? Let's grab that. There it is. Okay. Sweet root. It's hazard protection. There we go. And this is also hazard protection. Good. Okay. Just want to make sure. See what we got in this canister. Ion battery. Very nice. Okay, we're looking, we're looking. I don't see anything. Okay. So we'll have to use one of our life support gels soon. The microprocessor, huh? Microprocessors are handy in certain repairs, but I'm not as concerned about that, obviously. So there's our life support power going low, so we're going to use that. There we go. And that's the destination right over there. Don't be so focused on that destination that you forget to look around you at the journey. Because there's things on your journey that'll help you. Especially if there was a building that you passed by that could have helped you out. Because those unknown buildings can sometimes be crashed ships. It just puts it down as an unknown building. Which isn't always accurate. There we go. Keep going. Alright. Good shape. Okay. Bear with me just a second. Notice that I'm protected in this area. Very nice. So we're going to go terrain manipulator. We're going to dig down over here. And our inventory's full. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our inventory. See what we can get rid of. So this is hazard protection, which is already fully charged.
Uh, let's see. This can't help me right now. Let me see what else we got. This isn't worth much. We're going to get rid of that. It's only 60 nanites. These are worth 300 apiece, which is very handy. We're already up to 325, so that's pretty good. Uh, carbon, oxygen, ferrite. Good. Let's see. Oh, the silicate powder tends to take up a lot of room. Let's move some of that out. How much is this worth? 18,000? I'm going to get rid of our silver. We're not going to be able to do anything with it. That's worth nine. Let's get rid of both of those. All right. We've got plenty of room now. Shall we? And plus, we want to take those uh, gravitino balls. Should be another artifact fragment there. We're going to grab this later. Not now. Grab it now, it attracts sentinels, and we want to be able to get away from them. But they're worth a lot. And these three ancient keys open this large artifact crate. Rare item. 658 years old. It's not going to be worth a whole ton, but still, half a mil... We've got nearly two million in our coffers now. Between these two, we got another million and a little bit more. So, let's get rid of some of the silicate powder. I am going to put some in my multi-tool and delete the rest. Because we will be digging more, I promise. All right. Uh, this isn't worth anything. Let's get rid of it. Okay. We have plenty of sodium. All right, we got five more slots to fill up. Let's get going, shall we? Let's get out of this hole. There we go. We are going that way. Let's take a look around. Do, do, do. Okay, there's a building this way, so we're going to be heading that way. Before we get started... Where is it? It's over there. Can we pick it up over here? Is it pick upable? No, it is not. It is actually pick upable. Okay, there should be three of them. So there's one here. Clear out the ceiling. So we can just fall in there later. Should be... One right there. Okay. Alright. Do we want to get all three is my thing. We're taking a lot of chances here. So you see, there's the gravitino ball. Flatten this out a little bit, make myself a clearer path. So we're going to try... There we go. To get all three. I'm taking a chance here. Okay, ready? Gonna be tough. Because as soon as we take one, they're going to start start in on us. Okay. And we're heading that way. Okay. Okay. And you see, there they are. Run, run, run. Two. And three. Get out of the hole and run. So see, there are 30 seconds. I've got to stay ahead of these guys and not get caught. So I don't know if they're going to have a uh, quad out with them, but they do. I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, it's not an inside building.
seven, five, four, three, two, one, and good deal. Let's see if we can find another one of these things, huh? Okay. Knowledge passed. And take a look, because sometimes you can see things from the air you didn't notice before, like a landing platform or something like that. Can't always see everything. Alright, so that's going back the other way. And that is not the way we're going, so... Yeah. Don't think we're going to do that. Alright, so we'll have to give up on that one. So we're going this way. Let's take a look around, see if we have another building anywhere nearby, because that can come in handy. Alright, we do have some broken machinery up there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll head on our merry little way. So this is how these things go. This has been over an hour that we've been playing. Life support, we're going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, and we have... Did I just see that right? Yeah, we do. Oh, it's still over there. Okay. Ooh, we can get some... Cold protection... It would be very handy. No, can't get it. Alright. There it is. Got it. And we're out of the hole. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get out of the hole. Alright. Let's move on. Ah. That's handy stuff right there. Look at all that. And just the right size, too, that I can get it. Yeah, even the bigger one. Good. Alright, very good, very good. Sodium nitrate. Ion battery. Very nice. We've got some oxygen. How are we doing on oxygen? Real quick, actually. We need to recharge this. There we go. Oxygen, we've got 280. We don't need any more, so we're going to hold off on getting that oxygen from that patch there. Oh, oh, what's that? What is that? That is a biological entity. Excellent. We got our 1500 nanites. Too bad we don't have a trader landing next to us now, right? All right. That is excellent news. So let's look around and see if we can find any buildings. Now, it's kind of hard to see sometimes the, you know, like this buried cache here, because they're white and a white background, but you know what? The snowy planets are the easier ones to go with. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves an observatory. We'll use it. It's not going to help us any. But we'll head over that direction. Let's go ahead and grab... See 286, 360. Let's grab the 286 while we're on our way. No trade terminals in there, but we can at least rest up for a moment. Not sure what that was. All right, let's see. Okay, good. No uh, broken machine over here. Oh, there it is. Thought there might be one here. Okay, more of those. Alright, looks like we got another one right below us. Right there, without any broken tech. Broken machinery, that is. All right. Get away from all these rocks. They're getting in the way. All right. We do have a buried mineral there. Do we want to take a chance? Let's do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use my... Why is this... I wasn't going to use a battery, but now I may have to. Oh, for crying out. 
Can we make it to the shelter or the entrance to this place? There is always someplace else. Just made it. All right. It's the silicate that gets us every time, and that's what damaged. That's what did, caused us a problem there. All right. So this is hazard protection, which is already built up to a hundred, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, how are we doing on this? Hundred twenty thousand for those three. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here take you and put you over here for now. We have one slot available, but let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to use this to take a look around. We don't really care, but uh, 3827, so it's 8273. Yeah, right. Take us on the pullback. We don't care about the distant stars. We're looking lo more locally. Landing platform right to our e to the east of us. All right, so through the entrance, it's just on an angle to the right. So that is great news. It's right over there. There's a landing platform. Fantastic. And you see, we can't see it really per se with our scanner, but that is fantastic. We ran right past it. Beautiful. All right. Now the hard part is is we're gonna have to get a lot more money. So we're going to have to make a marker over there. Okay. Let's grab the buried tech. And we'll get some stuff from in here. Okay. Good. All right. Now, one thing we do need on the way is we're going to need some copper. That's some dioxide. I wish I had known that. That would have been so much easier. And buried tech. Let's go for the dioxide for now. Is this copper? Well, I'll be. Got worms on the planet. Sodium. Copper. 185. Let's grab that copper. Because we need to make some chromatic metal. We're going to make ourselves a base computer over there. We don't need much. We need about 60. We'll grab a whole bunch, but we're not going to need a whole lot. Did we already get 300? Sure did. There we go. That's okay. We don't need any more. And the other thing we need is... I would really love to have that dioxide, but we'll wait. We got oxygen. We got some life support gels. So let's head for there. We're going to grab this on the way. Nice. That was a good landing that time. Pretty smooth. If I do say so myself. Pick it up. We can... Alright, that's just money. Money in the pocket right there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a... We're going to set up a compute there, computer there, like I said. We are... Yeah, I don't okay. Had I been paying attention to the ships flying overhead, I probably would have been able to know that there was a trade platform coming up. There we go. Made it. Now 
Now a little trick on these ladders. You stay right up against them, you don't use any jetpack fuel. Except when you get to the top, make sure you get all the way over the ladder. There we go. We're inside now. Now, I'm not as concerned about the economy here, so I could sp I could just sell this stuff right inside there. And we can take a look at these ships and find out how much they're worth, but every single one of them is taken off now. So let's go ahead and sell our things. See how much money we'll end up with. Okay. Gravitino balls. Let's get rid of the silicate powder because it's annoying me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the microprocessors. They're not worth anything, but I don't want them in my inventory right now. And pamphlets. We're getting a little bit of a positive on that. So 585 is what we're going to get for it. Excellent. And how much money? I'm sorry, I jumped out of there too quickly. Almost 4 million. Not bad. But as you can see, these ships are worth quite a bit more. I have to get at least 5.7. So I need a couple million more. So, what I'm going to do, this requires 30 chromatic metal, so we're going to put down our portable refiner. We're going to put the copper in here. Uh, let's use you. We don't need much. So this is going to give us 75 chromatic metal. Let's see what else we got. This one's worth 10. Is that an A-class? C-class, good grief. That's worth 6.8. Uh, 14 for that one. So we know we need at least 6 million to get a, you know, a ship. And that's all we really need is one ship. And then we can call this completed. Not bad, an hour and a half isn't too shabby. And then we just need to get our things. I need 30. Is it up to 30 already? Okay. Just need to put our base computer down. I'm only using the base computer as a means of finding this place again. Okay. Because we're going to be running around outside of this, and we're going to pick up some buried technology. The only thing we need to do now is survive long enough to buy a ship. Ah, finally got enough money to be called a magnate. What do you know? Okay, we don't need that anymore, so I'm going to actually leave this here. Okay. All right, we're in good shape. Uh, we have some more copper. Let's go ahead and sell the copper off. We're not going to need it anyway. You know what? There's no harm in turning it into something. And we can leave it here if we want. So, there. Let's get it started and let it go. All right, so we know how much these things cost. That's 14, that's 8. That one over there is 5.7. Not 5.7. Okay, so we need 6 million. We have just shy. We need 2 million more. All right, let's get started. So we need to take a look around and look for some stuff, right? Uh, we got plenty of plants everywhere. Dioxite would come in really handy right about now. We'll head in this direction and we'll circle around to the left. Gonna have to break your ankles on the way down. Like I said, this is a bad time to die. Ah, handy. Use the jetpack boosts to get where we're going. And now. Good. That worked out perfectly. We don't need a lot of this. Why are we getting this? This is life support for this for us on this planet. We don't have to use life support gels if we have a couple, about a hundred of this. There we go. 136. That'll work. There we go. So that is our life support. So we can use up the gels if we need them, but we don't need them. All right, let's gather stuff. We need money. Let's go for the subterranean structure there, then we're going to move over here to this buried tech, shall we? See, this thing will get us money. It may not be much, but it's instantaneous money. 
sometimes it turns out to be something worth quite a bit. Hello. Stuck. Get out of the hole. Okay. Fresh worm meat. Ooh. So we're going to process the protein, which turns into mordite, which really isn't worth anything. So, that's something, but not what we're looking for. All right. We need buried tech. There's some over there. 235 and 255. 95. We'll take that one. 127 is very close by. I saw the flower, but we're not going to need it. Good. There's our buried tech and some um, unburied technology. Some, some damaged machinery and unburied technology. So we'll take the technology and we'll open up the damaged machinery. Okay, salvage data, some nanites. Okay, good. Where to? We're going to go up there next. 306, 238. All right. Might go for the 238. Hang on. Thermal protection falling. Let's use this because I want to get my sodium down a little lower. Careful. Don't want to break any ankles. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over here to the one that we found earlier. Almost used a little too much. That would have hurt. Excuse me, sir. So we'll go ahead and use this. Where did it go? There it is. This one's pretty deep down, so... There we go. And some more nanites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, looks like we got some buried tech over there. Taking a look around. Alright, let's grab it. So this is, a, like I said, this has been a pretty good run. Uh, we got half a mil. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. And you're not allowed to use, again, you're not allowed to use your old ship collateral. That kind of ruins the purpose of this whole run. You're basically making believe you don't have a ship. Okay. More data? Nice. Another four. That gives us another almost full stack. So we're almost got a full million. Unknown building. I think we'll head over there just to see what's over there. How far away is that? 158. Let's go there. Great. It's going to be one of these mountainsides that won't let me all the way up. Okay, that's what it was. Broken machinery. Okay. This one's pretty deep. There we go. Two, hopefully, at least, yes. Okay. Only gave us two that time. It is what it is. 
Okay. There was another one right here, but I don't see it. There's broken machinery up there. There's the building. Let's go for the broken machinery on that ridge, and then we'll come back. So we basically need four stacks of buried tech. There we go. Now we got them down below. Unburied technology in this case. Three more. That's good. Okay, more nanites. Let's go back to the unknown building. I don't know what it is from here, but I guess we'll find out. Kind of scary, right? Beep. Oh, come on. I didn't even hit that hard. Looks like we got a couple buildings. There's a monolith over there. That's so handy. And we got some mineral. Good. Ancient data structure. Okay, we're in a good spot here. Ugh. Let's grab the mineral. There it is. Keep forgetting we don't have a gun in here. Maybe we can get another expensive mineral. That'll be nice. Dirty bronze, worth 25. Not bad, not bad. Bring that all the way back up. We'll go ahead and sell that. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, what's next? Let's check out the ancient data structure right there, and then we're going to hit the monolith. I think. I think that would work out the best. Over there. Okay. Well, doesn't look like there's many of them. Yeah, just a few. Okay, it's not the navigation data we're after. It's this. 85,000 is what it's worth. So that was worth it to me to get that. All right. I'm going to put you down here. Put you up here. There we go. Let's keep going. Okay, that is the unknown building. And that is our... Another unknown building. What? Went up to the monolith. I guess we should get closer. Let's grab that data down there real quick. Oh. Just money making now. All we're after. No, hyperdrive module. We can't put any of this in our own exosuit whatsoever. That's the hilarious part about this. Oop, did I pass it? Oh, there it is. Gummy flesh. Let's see what it gives us. Ah, useless stuff. That's what it does. Alright, so we're running out of space quick here. Alright. Let's head over to that structure we had marked. There's an unknown building there, and that's the structure we marked. Let's hold over this unknown building first. The monolith is over there. We got too many unknown buildings. Okay, let's go this way. Pretty funny. All these structures suddenly have popped up. Where is the first building? There. 
Okay, so that's a building that's protected by sentinels. Not worth it to us. There's an unknown building straight there. Let's head that way. Can't run along the side of this. Uh, looks like just a shelter. Ow. I almost thought I broke something because of the announcement coming on. Okay, yeah, that's just a shelter. But they've got buried tech over there, so let's go ahead and grab it. That's interesting. Is that sodium? Sticking right up above the ground like that. Don't usually see it that way. Got that. Looks like we got three out of that. That's good. So we got three stacks so far. We just got to complete one more stack and then we'll be in good shape. All right, good. Unknown building and building and knowledge stone and monolith. Let's go for the monolith. It's up this hill. Hmm, music's starting to remind me of Zelda a little bit. Like we got broken machinery over here. Didn't notice this before. Very tech beyond it. Okay, good. Keep going, keep going. Not bad, so we'll have this done. It looks like in under two hours. Awesome! Hey, let's use up the stuff that we have in here first. There we go, 82%. Excellent, now we got room. Monolith might help us. I don't know, but we'll see. All right. Uh, let's see. Pustules of my skin. Metal spiders. Wait. Spades. I've passed the test. It just gave me a Corvax casing. Okay, well, that doesn't really help me any. I was hoping it would give me something else, but that's okay. All right, got another unknown building there and another one up there. Let's go for this one up here. We're going to keep that one marked. Hello, frozen tubers. Gonna use you. And... Is that another unknown building? Are you kidding me? What's with all these unknown buildings that are everywhere? Ah, uh, drop pod. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I want to race the resources on it. In any normal other situation, I would say, yeah, let's go ahead and take what's there, but... Alright, our inventory is full. I forgot about that, too. Gek Relic. I'll go ahead and get rid of that, too. So there's our another unknown building behind us. Do we head that way or not? Let's go to this one. There we go. Just a shelter, it looks like, is all we've got over there, too. But, very tech. So let's go ahead and grab it. All right. Here we go. It would be funny to find some thermal protection right about now, but I don't think we're going to find it. All right. Let's see how many we got. Got three more. All right. We are at how much? Not quite a million. Okay. Not quite two million. Between these, that gives us another 100,000. 
All right, so between these three, four, right here in this area, that's about a million, and then not quite another million right here. So let's get rid of the Mordite. Not worth anything to us. There we go. This is for our life support. Let's go ahead and add it in real quick. This is also life support. So we're recharged there. All right, let's take a look around. We need to know where our base computer is. It is right there. That's the one we're aiming for, five minutes away. We need more buried technology. Uh, let's see. We already got that damaged machinery there. Oh, there's buried tech right over there. Got to get out to get it. There it is, right there. Pretty close under the ground. All right, four. Three more, okay. That's still good. As you can see, if we can get at least a half a stack, just a few more, one more buried tech ought to get us what we need. So why don't we work our way back to the ship, back to the landing platform, pardon me. Which is where? That way, right? Yes. Yeah, it's back that way. And hopefully we'll pick up just a little more buried tech on the way. We can sell some of the other stuff out of our inventory that we don't need. Oh, buried tech right there. Okay, we're in good shape. So we're going to make it here. We're going to make it. There may be noise here in just a moment. I heard a car door. It usually means people arriving. So if there is, I'll try to mute the microphone. <laughs> Gotta wait for the run juice to catch up again. Ah, almost didn't quite make it over that rock. There we go. Eh, it's probably close enough to the ground I could pick it up. All right, how many did we get? All right, we got a four. Four pack on that one. Awesome. We should have enough to get the cheapest ship now. So now we just need to head back. That's not the base we're going for. That's the one. A little over 1,100 units to go. And what we'll do is we'll try to sell this stuff off at a pilot. Maybe we can get a better price. Yeah, we'll use that. That's okay. We could have used two of them. Uh, okay. Thermal protection is falling. You've heard it so many times today. Alright, which one is it? It's the top one? It's the top one. Okay. You know what we can do? We do a quick search like that. Sometimes we can find the booster plants. Don't see any of them. <laughs> oh well, worth a shot. Sometimes if we scan for them, it works. But it wasn't to be. Long run away. But that's why we dropped the base computer down. Now you can see why we did that. It's always a good idea. All right, so there's our base up on the other side of that huge mountain. Pretty sure we grabbed that broken machinery. But once you get out of range of it, when it reappears, it's still going to smoke, even though you grabbed everything from it. So Life support power is about to be low again. So you can see our life support and everything else is dropping much quicker in this mode as well. So I think they have done stuff. Ugh. Nice. 
One more boost. Thank you. Should be able to get this with this. And we're going to get this with this. Hopefully that's the last time. Alright. With a full boost, I think we can make it to a platform. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Who we got landing? A little shuttle. How much is it worth? 7.3. Well, we can't buy this guy, but... We definitely can't buy a hauler. 12... 9... 8. Okay, let's just hit this guy up and we'll go ahead and sell our stuff. Don't think we'll have 7 million. Offer to trade. Sell. What do we got? Salvage data. That gives us another 2 mil. 30 bronze. The exosuit upgrade chart. Let's get rid of the silicate powder because we can. We don't need the pure ferrite anymore. We're at 6 million. Okay. So we're done. Now we just need to get one of those 5.7 million unit ships to land. And we'll stay within the trading platform while we wait. Uh, let's pick this guy up. Just a little more chromatic metal worth about 10,000 if we need it. 3.4 million. If I had known that. Hey, buddy. Make an offer on your Chevy Spark. Five for 3.4 million. That means this challenge is complete. All we need to do is jump in and out of the ship. And we are now done. And we ended up with this ship. Not a great ship, but a ship. And there it is. Our... Yeah. Our ship. 6.7 million. Yeah, I hate you. 11 million for the B-Class version. All right, this was hilarious, but we have completed our challenge. So, this was the no starter ship permadeath, extreme permadeath challenge. Oh, another one. How much were you? 20 million. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have been able to buy any of those ships, but we did, we were able to complete this challenge and get what we needed. So, Let's call it a day here. Let's uh, stand in front of our wonderful ship and take a picture. Um, except I'm going to do this in a different manner. There we go. So that you can't see the ship. Why is that? Because that's going to be our... Our picture for our for our for our whole thing here so i want to thank you all for watching uh please hit the like and subscribe and we'll have more of this we're going to do this live at some other point in time there may be some things coming out on no man's sky very very soon they had a pretty big update granted it was a lot of bug fixes but they've really added some very interesting things to the game as well so let's see what's going to happen next folks you know maybe this week who knows who knows what's going to happen and uh yeah the twitch channel thing we'll see We'll see. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do that. So, I want to do it when we have drops enabled for No Man's Sky, but we'll see what happens. I don't know yet. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next next time we have an episode. We'll see you again. I have one coming out every Wednesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.